Okay, so here we have an identity to prove. Um, and this one was a little tricky. I'll tell you my thinking behind it. And I want to show you, though, how to do some of the writing of it, you know, because it gets a little tricky on that. And there comes a point where you have to make a decision, and um, that's important. So we'll talk about that. All right, you notice on the left that you have a 4x for an argument and a 3x for an argument. But on the right, all the arguments are just x. So there's probably a good chance that we want to get rid of the 4x and the 3x as far as having an argument goes. Okay, so I can write 4x as 3x plus x. Now, my thought in doing that was, well, then at least I have the arguments the same as the other piece. So I'm just splitting up the 4x. Now I can use my sum formula for cosine, which says cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus sine alpha, sine beta. And then I still have minus cosine 3x, cosine x. That's this part here. Okay, that didn't go any place. All right, so good news here. The cosine 3x, cosine x, that cancels out with the negative cosine 3x, cosine x. So yay. So now we just have minus um, sine 3x, sine x. Now I'm going to rewrite this. Minus sine x times sine, I'll put a bracket there, sine 3x. And the reason I'm doing that is so that you can see where this is going to come from. So I want that minus sine x. Eventually, it'll probably have to be distributed. But for now, I want it just kind of out there waiting for me. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the 4x with the 3x. I'm going to split it up. So I'm going to split it up into sine x, um, oops, sine x plus 2x. And then I'll use the sum formula for um, sine. So I still have a minus sine x out front. And now it's going to be sine x, you know, sine alpha, cosine beta my, uh, plus, and then it's going to be cosine alpha sine beta. Oh, I switched it on me. I went. I switched it. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Cosine x, sine 2x. Okay, so let me make sure I wrote that right. Sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. Okay, so the tricky part is usually not the sine 2x, because you still have a double, you know, a 2x in there. You just want it to be x. So we're going to use a double angle formula. Now, we could distribute the minus sine x. I'm going to wait. I'm just going to leave it out there for now. And now I want to think about a double angle formula for cosine. Now that's the one where there are three choices. I'm going to use the 2 cosine x minus 1 choice. So that's the tricky part right there, is getting the right one. Um, you could try using a different one, but I think it's just going to take you longer to get what you need. OK. Plus cosine x. And then I'm going to think about the double angle for sine 2x. That one's a little bit easier. It is 2 sine uh, x cosine x. OK. So that's what we have right there so far. All right, I'm going to leave the minus sine x out front. And then I'm going to have 2 uh, sine x cosine x minus sine x. So I'm just distributing here. Plus, and then now on this part back here, it's all multiplication. So 2 sine x cosine squared x. OK. So that's looking a little bit better. Um, oh, you know what? I left out a square here. Sorry, that was supposed to be a square. Cosine squared x. Thought something went different. Okay. 
Now we're going to go ahead and um, combine. So this is a 2 sine x cosine squared x, and this is a 2 sine x cosine squared x. We're going to combine those. So I've got minus sine x. We're almost done. 4 sine x cosine squared x minus sine x. And then we're going to distribute. So distributing here, that looks like a negative 4 sine squared x cosine squared x. And then distributing over here, that's going to make it plus sine squared x. And then if I rearrange it, sine squared x minus 4 sine squared x cosine squared x, which is what we we're supposed to try to get. You have to scroll back. I'll scroll back up. <laughs> it's way up there, but it's right there. That's what we were trying to get. 2 or sine squared x minus 4 cosine squared x sine squared x. They have the co they have these two switched, but that's okay. I mean, I can switch them if you want. Ah, I forgot to switch it. Um, but multiplication is commutative, so I just usually write my sign first. So okay, so it was an identity. We proved it. A little bit tricky, but um, if you can write those things out, you know that that's really going to be helpful to to you later on. Maybe not in this class, but maybe in the next class.